everybody. Hope that all are well uh, this weekend. Uh, Detroit City finished their USL Championship regular season uh, this evening. Um, kind of surprised we're already at that point, but shows you how quick time moves. Uh, Detroit City traveled to San Antonio to take on a San Antonio FC side that was eliminated from Western play Conference playoffs contention last week uh, with how the results went. Um, really, a couple changes in that lineup. Ryan Williams in the starting lineup in the midfield, and also Carlos Saldana in goal for Nate Steinwasher. Maxi Rodriguez getting the captain's armband in his hometown, taking on his former side, opening things up with his 10th goal of the season for Detroit City. A nice little strike at the, um, I want to say left wing side, but it was definitely in the inside left position. Great team movement there. Um, and then San Antonio goes down to 10 men. Captain gets sent off in a red card. Turns out, I think what commentary was saying, that he was kind of his last, the last match for um, that specific defender. So probably why, if you were wondering why Maxi Rodriguez might have been console, consoling the player a little bit, that would probably explain part of the reason why. Um, City capitalizes with the main advantage in the second half. Uh, Maxi leaves the game early in the second half, just kind of as a caution. Um, on come the subs. Ben Morris, um, well, before the edge of the half, actually, just before the end of the half, Ryan Williams, great free kick goal. Um, something we've seen similar to some of his goals he scored in highlight reels. 2-0 to Detroit City at the half. They make it three via Ben Morris, gained his ninth goal of the year. San Antonio pulled one back, started to go a little bit aggressive, heavy aggressive, sending people forward even with the man advantage. They Rouge capitalizes on that opportunity, a little ball across. Ben Morris gets his second goal of the night, 10th goal of the season. 4-1 is the final for Detroit City. Um, kind of refreshing. Like, I know I predicted a 4-0, but part of that was kind of in the joke and manifestation. But to see them carry the game out, even with a man advantage, was really cool. Um, the fact that we have two players with double-digit goals in league play this year, and Axie Rodriguez and Ben Morris, is really cool as well. Both finished with 10. Um, unbeaten in their final nine to finish the regular season was Detroit City FC and results in 14 of the last 15 matches. Only the Tulsa loss on August 24th was the one thing in between preventing everything. And now with that, third place is confirmed finished in the Eastern Conference. Detroit City needed a draw at the minimum. Uh, however, with Indy 11 already losing 2-0 at the time of the Tampa Bay Rowdies at the start of Detroit City's match. It was already set in stone, essentially, for them. The Rowdies wound up defeating Indy 3-0 in their match. Um, so now we have the Eastern Conference playoffs fully set. Louisville City and Charleston Battery are already the one twos. Louisville City is going to be taking on North Carolina FC, who um, in their first year back in the USL Championship get the last playoff spot. Charleston Battery takes on Pittsburgh Riverhounds in the 2-7. Um, I know that game is Saturday, November 2nd, 6.30 Eastern. Um, Pittsburgh Riverhounds go into that game with a, on a little bit of a run. Defeated Charleston two weeks ago. Rue at Charleston earlier in the year. Um, the winner of that matchup will take on the winner of Detroit City versus Tampa Bay Rowdies, the 3-6 matchup, which will be at Keyworth Stadium Saturday, November 2nd, 7 p.m. Eastern, under the lights. Um, it's going to be a really fun time. So if you haven't gotten your ticket or been able to go, clubs go to the club's website where you get your tickets, everything for that. Um, and then the 4-5 matchup, it's going to be Indy 11 and Rhode Island. Um, the winner of that matchup takes place, takes takes on the Louisville City, North Carolina um, FC winner. So, final score, Detroit City, 4-1 winners in San Antonio, finished the regular season strong. That one being in, in their last nine, 14 of their last 15, um, taking on Tampa Bay Rowdies. For the 3 6 matchup, Kior Stadium, Saturday, November 2nd, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. And also, another fun point going into this playoffs 
if Detroit City are the ones to come out of the Eastern Conference and make it to the USL Championship Final, they have a better record than seven of the eight Western Conference playoff teams, which means if any other, if, if it's a Western Conference team that is not New Mexico United, so basically seeds two through eight, they would have to go to Keyworth Stadium and take on Detroit City in the USL Championship Final. So, we've gone through 34 weeks of a regular season. Now come playoffs. Let's see what happens. So, Gary Comats here to everyone, whenever you're checking this out. First off, at the time of recording this, hope all have a wonderful rest of their weekend. Um, to Danny Nikio, the lads, Trevor James, everybody involving in the football operations. Well done on the season. Now it's on to the fun part, playoffs. We'll see everybody at Keyworth Stadium next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Detroit City taking on Tampa Bay Rowdies. We'll definitely be having some stuff. Uh, look for a tunnel talk this coming week with Birmingham City Make Spence this coming week uh, for both Channel 51, Channel 451 and the Majors Detroit. So with that, signing off. Have a great night, everybody, and we go onward. Thank you.